Deshaun Watson was not indicted when his case went to the grand jury. Ryan Brown from J. Ryan Brown Law. We were talking about uh, the inner workings of a grand jury. Uh, and we saw that Deshaun Watson was not indicted. How does that happen? So a grand jury proceeding is a secret proceeding uh, that involves typically the lead prosecutor, uh, any witnesses the prosecutor wants, typically a detective of some sort, and then uh, in Georgia, 16 to 23 grand jurors. Um, what happens is the prosecutors put up evidence and the grand jurors vote to whether or not there's probable cause to indict the case or not. Um, the defendants do not have a chance to go except in very rare circumstances if it's a law enforcement officer charged with a crime in the course of their duties. But the, uh, the point of this is that a skilled prosecutor can get a grand jury to do basically whatever uh, he or she wants. Um, the saying is that a, great, uh, uh, a grand jury would indict a ham sandwich if it was presented to it uh, for uh, something by a skilled prosecutor. But just as a grand jury will indict anyone, a prosecutor can prevent a grand jury from indicting just about anyone as well because the, uh, the, the district attorney has complete control over the evidence that is presented to the grand jury, the way in which it's presented, and uh, the, the how it, how it, they go about presenting the case. So um, it's very possible that maybe the, uh, the, the prosecutor in the Deshaun Watson case didn't feel like there was enough evidence to prosecute, but he didn't want to be on the record saying that he didn't, uh, uh, and I'm just guessing here, he didn't want to be on the record saying that he wasn't going to prosecute it, so he puts it off on a grand jury that is secret, um, that is certainly kind of a political tool or, or way that people can use grand juries.